Hey everybody, Saru here, and today we're going to take a look at the next volume of the PC Engine CD-ROM Capsule, Volume 2, here on Retro Japan. to another Retro Japan special uh, on the PC Engine CD-ROM Capsule Volume 2. Now, if you didn't check out Volume 1, make sure to go back and look at that one because it explains a lot about the origins uh, of these books and where they come from. But long story short, this is a publication of um, monthly PC Engine magazine or Get Gun PC Engine. Um, and this one is a Wonder Life uh, special. They're all Wonder Life specials published by Shogakukan. Now, this one, being volume two, uh, this one has a very special place in my heart because this volume was the very first volume of the uh, PC Engine capsules that I got. So um, it holds a super special place in my heart along with uh, volume four. Um, in this spread, we've got uh, some interesting stuff. Street Fighter 2 Dash, which is uh, Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition here in the US. The PC Engine version, in my opinion, is a technological marvel, being that it's uh, running on technically an 8 bit console um, with a 16 bit GPU. This side, we have Magic Hole and a advertisement for the PC Engine Duo R. When this book came out, the PC Engine Duo Rs were, um, they, had, they were just coming out. Here's a table of contents. Here is an explanation on the CD-ROM stuff. Every single book uh, has these, short explanation. Uh, this one basically talks about uh, how the disc's made and how the laser reads the data pockets and stuff like that because, you know, CD-ROM technology was still pretty new, so I guess they could talk about that. Um, and then pictured here is the Duo R, which retailed at about um, $400 US, which, if you take in for account inflation, is a lot of freaking money. Um, basically, this is explaining that the Duo has the Super CD-ROM uh, system card 3.0. All right, and here are the different uh, disc types. Uh, this isn't important. Now, to the Super CD Stoff Special Test Version, these are the different games that came with this version. So PC Genjin 3, which is Bonk 3, uh, Monster Maker, the Dynastic Hero, Sherlock Holmes 2, Topu Onerai, Gunbuster Volume 2, Winds of Thunder, and something called uh, Quiz Caravan Karuto Q. So basically, much like the last book, um, this one jumps right into the uh, instructions and explanations about the different stuff. You got some really cool bunk artwork here. Um, more explanations on bunk. Some really cool PC Genjin art. Uh, some more really cool art here and more of the game. This one here explains the uh, Monster Maker and the story and the different characters in Monster Maker. More Monster Maker. This was actually a really popular game for the PC Engine back in the day. The Dynastic Hero, which is also uh, the Monster World 3 game on the Mega Drive. Uh, many of West Tone's games made it over to the PC Engine uh, or to Nintendo consoles, relabeled, retitled, reskinned. And uh, this one has a completely different soundtrack than Mo Monster World does, which is weird because most of the Wonder Boy games have the same thing. The PC Engine did the same thing with uh, Bikuriman. Uh, there was a Bikuriman game, which was basically Wonder Boy 2, the first Monster World game. The music is all exactly the same. They just reskin the characters to look like Bikuriman characters, and the same thing goes for this. Personally, I like the Mega Drive 
uh, the original version of the Wonder Boy game versus this beetle-like character, which I think is kind of dumb, but the game itself is, is a lot of fun still. And the US version of this game goes for about $800, if I remember correctly. It's become quite rare. This is Sherlock Holmes Volume 2. This one is notable for having uh, really decent FMB scenes in it uh, that looked really good for the time, in my opinion. Um, and it, it, this was the first time I had ever seen uh, this type of um, uh, FMV sequences inside games. I had never seen this prior to seeing it on this disc. So it kind of blew my mind. I didn't really care, um, but it blew my mind nonetheless. But I'm, I favor these types of things, cinematics with uh, 2D drawn sprites, uh, which the PC Engine had a lot of. This game here has um, some really nice cinematics and some really nice music. Uh, this is another Gainax uh, anime, and it was quite popular at the time. And uh, then you got scenes like this. <laughs> Good lord. But it's PC Engine. Uh, here we have Winds of Thunder. Um, if you remember in my first video, it, there was a demo of Winds of Thunder, and I think the stage that uh, was in that demo was uh, Desant. And I believe this one is uh, Auzal. Auzaru is the stage that's in this one. I just drew a blank there. This one, Quiz Kataban Karuto Q. This is a weird quiz game. And I'm going to go ahead and show these all off in detail when we get to the demo portion of the game. Here's randomly um, some Mega Drive gift for whatever reason. Mm, even though the, it says here Get Gone PC Engine Special, I'm guessing, uh, I don't know, I don't know what this pre what, what this means, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, here's the staff column for the people who worked on this book. What's new? PC Engine Hardware. What's new? The PC Engine Duo R. That's what's new. Around this time, that's when this came out, and in my opinion, this is the prettiest of the duos. Uh, the Duo RX has this a different, um, slightly different tinge of color mm, than this one does, and um, you don't really have to worry about those going bad, but it's always a good idea to recap them. The original duos were notorious for leaking caps, unfortunately. Anyway, here's some peripherals. Uh, these were mentioned in the last book. Um, I explained what, what those all are here. This is the Laser Active. For those of you that don't know, the Laser Active was a laser disc player made by Pioneer that allowed you to connect to different modules. This here is the PC Engine module. Um, I also have uh, one of these and the Laser Disc player. And uh, I only have one game because they're kind of expensive for any good games. Um, but I may do a video about that later. This is the uh, PC Engine CD-ROM capsule. Uh, this is a special uh, CD-ROM capsule, which has Fuun Kabuki Den Tengai Makyo, Far East of Eden. Uh, I have this book as well. This comes with a very long demo of Kabuki Den. I always think of Happy Console Gamer when I see uh, Kabuki Den or, you know, uh, uh, Kabuki Danjuro, because he, his favorite character is this character here. Ah, here's an advertisement for another book that I had. This is the Puyo Puyo Guidebook for the Mega Drive. And um, I loved this so much, this this little book. Um, but, I mean, I'm not going to talk about it, but the CD was so good uh, by com composer Katsubi Tanaka. And Katsubi Tanaka did a lot of the Puyo Puyo music. This had some great remixes, and I, and I love it. Maybe I'll upload it to the channel. Uh, here's an advertisement for J League uh, Official Guide. This is another one of their books. Mm, now we got to a cool section. This is the CD-ROM Game uh, Heroine Best Collection. The very first one, right off the bat, is uh, Kagurazaka Yuna. Uh, Yuna Kagurazaka is the uh, main character of the Galaxy Frontline Yuna games. Uh, I love this artist. His name is Mika Kitaka. And he also did the art for Sapphire, a great PC Engine game. Um, next is Lilia. Uh, everybody knows Lilia from the E series. We have Yuko from the Valis series. 
uh, we have um, Saotome Ranma and Tendo Akane from Ranma. I also don't care. Uh, then we have Tengai Makyo 2 Manjimaru uh, Kinu. Kinu is a... Uh, she's a cool character. Uh, I don't know who she is. L Rihanna from Tenchi no Uta 2. Um, Takaya Noriko from Gunbuster. Uh, this girl <laughs> from Yawara. I don't know what her name is. Um, uh, Deidred. Diedrit, Diedrit from Lotus War. I'm not sure. Nadia from Secret of Blue Water. Uh, Gemini Seed from Snatcher. Saya from Cosmic Fantasy. Flora from uh, Legend of Heroes 2. We got Chun Li. <clears throat> some uh, Langrisser stuff. Some Xanadu stuff. Alright, and the next section here is New CD ROM Soft Special. This is a section, section that usually showcases what new games are coming out. Um, we have Tengai Makyo Fun Kabuki Den. This had not been out at the time. This, this game has excellent, excellent cutscenes. East 4, The Dawn of East, this had not been out at the time. And actually in Book 4, uh, there's a demo for this game, which would be the first time that I ever played this. And uh, I just about soiled myself when I played it, so it's, it's really nice. Um, Sotsugyo, or Graduation, and what's going on there? Um, Fun no uh, Densetsu Xanadu, so the Xanadu games, amazing games. Really wish that game was in English, but it's not. Uh, A Densha de Iko, or something about the A Train. Dragon Knight 3, Ruin. Ruin is a pretty neat action RPG. Um, I wish, uh, I don't think I ever beat this game. I, I probably should, one day I will, but it's a good game. Mm, and then this is another soft. Uh, I don't know what this section entails. I guess di different different stuff. Here's Tenchi Okurao, the first Tenchi Okurao uh, for the PC Engine. Might and Magic 3, book three. These are the instructions for the Hyper Catalog, much like the last video. If you saw that video, uh, this is just explanation of the Hyper Catalog and all the different, all the different games for it. Uh, Dynastic Hero instructions, Winds of Thunder instructions, Bomberman, and more presents. I guess these are. Um, like, if you answer the, these quiz, quest, quiz questions correctly, uh, and you send it in with a survey card for a chance to win all these different prizes, like a Walkman that's hot. Um, this is Sherlock Holmes, Consulting Detective 2. Here's a nice two-page spread of Fun Kabuki Den. Uh, the Tengai Makyo series in Japan was very, very popular. And the first game was the first RPG, um, or I'm sorry, the largest RPG game ever, uh, up until that point. It was a huge, huge game. And um, Oji Hiroi directs this. Uh, Oji Hiroi also directed stuff like Sakura Wars, and then this was done in cooperation with Red Company and Hudson. Red Company being also responsible for Sakura Wars and Galaxy for Online Yuna. Uh, so now we get to the end of the book here. This has the cover. Um, I explained in the last video that the games came in these uh, CD-ROMs here. See, there's the game itself. And then you're supposed to cut out this here to make the case. However, I didn't own this book uh, itself. I had the demo. The demo was a gift to me from a store clerk. Uh, in a shop called Pony Toy. He was a PC Engine enthusiast and uh, he single-handedly got me into PC Engine and uh, was the person who advised me to get a TurboGrafx CD and then he gifted me this demo uh, some point later on once I got my Super CD-ROM card because I didn't have one of those Super CD-ROM cards so I couldn't play it. But once I got it, he gifted me just the CD itself. Um, so I didn't have a CD case. I wouldn't procure this book until much later. Uh, so I improvised with my case and I made my own. 
I drew this with Crayola colored pencils back in 1993 when I was a kid. And um, this is the original case that I had put it in. It's all cracked and old and covered in a bajillion different types of stains. Um, yeah, apparently I did this back in 1993. Let me pull this out carefully because this thing is old as hell. And this also has a advertisement in it that came from something else, but I stuck it in here just because, I don't know why, but I put it in there. Um, this had come with the Foon Kabuki Den demo. It's basically an advertisement of the uh, Bose system for the PC Engine. And on the back, there's like a little, uh, a little snippet by Oji Hiroi from Red Company and the creator of Tengai Makyo and Sakura Wars. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into the cover really quick so I can show you. Oh my god. This thing is like... But look at this. I drew this in colored pencils. This is some dedication. I don't do anything organically now. Everything is digital and it's quite sad. But when I was a kid, you know, there was no computers back then. <laughs> we had pencils and crayons and that's it. You know, so this was all um, colored pencils. And I even wrote Shogakukan wrong. I wrote Shogakukun. But um, I didn't really know any Japanese back then. So a lot of these things um, I wrote just off of what was on the disc. And even then I wrote, I wrote it wrong. And I translated with what I thought the characters were back then. And uh, for some reason I thought well, that was a sa and it's a ka. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. I'm going way too much uh, rambling in regards to that. But yep, that was my cover for it. So let's go ahead and um, jump into the game overview and show you what's on the demos. And that was our intro for the Hyper Catalog with cute little Bomberman's blowing things to smithereens. So now let's go ahead and take a quick look at the Hyper Catalog. Just like with every PC Engine Hyper Catalog, the catalog portion uh, tells us all of the releases for the PC Engine by media, genre, maker, retail price, codes database, and alphabetical order. At the time of this game's release, there were 468 PC Engine titles. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at Bonk 3, also known as Bonk's Big Adventure in the United States. The demo to Bonk 3 is rather short, just allowing the player enough time to figure out that Bonk can shrink and Bonk can get really big. Um, personally, I never really got into Bonk 3. Uh, Bonk's Revenge was my favorite Bonk game, but uh, this one never really did it for me, for whatever reason. Alright, so next we're going to go ahead and check out the second demo for Winds of Thunder. One thing that stands out about this demo immediately is the title screen. It looks like they've changed the colors and it's pretty much what the final game uh, ended up looking like as far as the logo goes. Another thing that's different about this demo is that you get to play on a different stage. You get to play on uh, Al Alzal, I think is the name of this stage. Um, but other than that, I really can't say much about uh, Winds of Thunder other than it's uh, an excellent game. Really great game, one of the best shooters in the PC Engine, and the music is excellent. 
Next, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the opening cinematic for the Dynastic Hero, as well as a little gameplay. Like I mentioned earlier, Dynastic Hero is a reskin of Wonder Boy 3 for the Mega Drive. With the main difference being the reskinning of the main character as well as a different soundtrack. The game is great fun and very affordable if you decide to get it on the PC Engine. So next we are going to take a quick look at Karuto Q. It's a specific demo that was made just for this capsule. And uh, it was also used um, as part of a contest in the magazine uh, where people got to send in their answers and correct answers got entered into a raffle for prizes. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at a promotional cinematic for Gumbuster Volume 2, a digital comic based on the anime by the same name. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the opening sequence for Monster Maker. A turn-based RPG game with a really good artistic style.
And finally, the last demo on this disc is Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective 2. As I mentioned earlier, Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective 2 uh, manages to show some pretty impressive FMV sequences throughout. The type of game that Sherlock Holmes is unfortunately isn't something that I'm too interested in, but let's go ahead and take a look at one of those FMV sequences just so you can get an idea of what it looks like. <laughs> Something about hearing Watson speaking in Japanese makes me giggle. And that concludes our Japan special on the PC Engine Capsule Volume 2. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye! Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click the notification button so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video. I'm also on Twitter and Instagram as underscore Sarumaru, so check me out if you want. Huge, huge shout outs goes out to my small but loyal group of patrons. You guys are awesome. If any of you want to be part of the Saru crew and check out some cool patron only stuff, come check me out at patreon.com forward slash Sarumaru. You don't have to, but I'd greatly appreciate it. Until next time, folks. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, Saru here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the next volume of the PC Engine CD-ROM Capsule. Volume... this is the wrong volume. Son of a bitch.